In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to convert your terrain to a snowy terrain. How to make your terrain of any type look like it's been snowed on. As long as your terrain is not a jungle, which would look silly in the snow, uh, as long as industrial, you know, sci-fi, things like that, or even a sandy uh, looking terrain, like from the beaches, and, you know, beaches, dunes and all that, uh, suddenly there might be a hailstorm or just the snow change in weather you know where magic happens the air gets colder and it might snow for some reason uh, in some movies at least so i'm going to show you how to make your terrain look snowy and what's more important it's going to only be a temporary uh, solution so you can remove it and use it as as previously uh, imagined uh, on your previous table this is very useful when you want to buy a mat that is a snow mat and for this tutorial I'm going to be using a mat from Urban Mats it's a snowy mat that I received for, for, for them for the review uh, and that's it, let's hit it off and I'll show you what I've done as you can see I've got my terrain that it's not very uh, suited for winter terrain, winter mat, winter table if I wanted to play it on a white table, on a white surface, pretending it to be snow or ice, it would really stand out and not, mu not make much sense, right? Uh, it still looks cool, I think, you know, it looks like rubble and, and some stuff, if, if, if I made some more details on it, but it doesn't really look like there has been snow in here. So what I've come up with is a method to make my terrain look like it's been snowed on. There has been uh, some snow falling on it, and you know, uh, some of the snow staying on the on the surface of those uh, bases. So over here, we've got the train with a little bit of special ingredient uh, spilled up, spilled upon it. Some of you might already guess. It's not sugar. It's uh, it's salt. Basically, I bought a, uh, a one kilo of salt. And I've used uh, maybe a quarter of it to sprinkle on my terrain. This way, uh, the rubble and the dirt that's, uh, that makes the bases looks, you know, ties in with the table, with the surface, and it looks quite cool. What's most important is that it can be easily removed. Okay, so we've got this terrain. This salt has been uh, sitting on this terrain for two days, I think, now. So let's try to remove it. Let's be very careful about it. So if we remove the salt from the terrain, just by shaking it off, it looks back to its normal. Obviously, it will stay in some crevices, so you just need to use a brush, blow it off, or just brush it off, basically. So it's gonna come back to its original state, but if you want to leave it like that, you can try. Uh, two things that you have to keep in mind first of all that salt might get into reaction with the material that you've used uh, to build your terrain it might I haven't uh, experienced this yet uh, but maybe I haven't left the terrain for a long enough period to uh, make the salt go into reaction with the with glue or with the sand or with the paint uh, so far I have seen no changes and the other thing is that when you remove it, uh, it goes a little bit airborne, so you will be, uh, you will feel it in the air. So, I mean, like if you open your mouth, like I'm, I do right now, and if you talk to your friend, you will, it will, it will taste a bit salty. Uh, so, how to remove it from the mat? So from the mat, let me just remove the buildings from the table, uh, get rid of all the salt from the bases, and I'll show you how to remove the salt from the mat very quickly easy way to remove the salt and like all of it from your mat is just to lift it from one side and start shaking it like so and as you can see it starts collecting itself in a nice line then do the same for the other side and what you actually can do if you lift the mat properly you will be able to just put it in the box uh, for instance I've been using this kind of box, just putting the salt back and forth. Um, so we've got this, or you can use some cardboard 
and just put it back in. With the remains, just put it on the floor, you know, just shake it off on the floor and be done with it. Just re remember phew, that the salt goes airborne. Uh, maybe not the salt and the big grains, but you can definitely feel it in the air. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you're gonna be plan if you're planning on, cre on on converting your terrain to a snowy, salty one. Um, if you find a better way, or if you've got a better way, please let me know because uh, for now I've been using this method, and it's gonna be used in one of my battle reports very soon. But if you got any better ideas, please do let me know, and only temporary ideas. I don't want it permanent. If, if I want it permanent, I would use the snow effects. Okay guys, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.